world's so bright It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush Dude, how can I have my car with the car running? Yes! Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, as much as possible, sometimes I don't really stick to the upload schedule. Sometimes I don't really stay to the upload schedule, but I try my best. Hope you guys are all staying safe during quarantine. And if you guys are new, thank you so much for your recent support. This channel has been growing a lot, and I really, really appreciate it. All of you guys' new comments and likes and every all your kind suggestions and everything. Um, I appreciate it all. If you guys are listening to this, 80% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. I saw my analytics, so go ahead and please go down. Just press the subscribe button. It will really help me out um, to grow my channel. This is my 2000 MR2 Spider. Let's go look at it. And um, again, if you guys want to know more about it, go ahead and feel free to ask any comments in, in the comment section below. Or you can just watch my older videos on this car. Here's a good look at it. But today I'll be installing the EBC front rotors and the EBC yellow stuff pads front and rear. And hopefully I'll be bleeding my brakes too. So this thing is gonna get a really, really good transformation. A um, lot of big things to come, but brakes are definitely one of them. And my e-brake is gonna start working because I recently replaced the e-brake cable when I did the roll bar install because it dropped the fuel tank. So it's gonna be perfect. Um, because it was actually buy it and I can use my e-brake. So here it is. Go ahead and jack up the car. Um, and then I'll go ahead and take off the front. I'll do the front ones first because front rotors and everything. All right, so before I do the brake install for the EBC pads and rotors, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up the tires, you know, get it street warm, so like not super hot, but you know, push it so it gets a little, little bit of heat in the tires. Um, and then I'm gonna do a 60 stop, a 50 stop, and a 40 stop. I'm not gonna go beneath that just because um, it's gonna be kind of hard. This is not really the most accurate way, but it's gonna be kind of hard to measure if it's um, like below 40 because the, the amount of time for it to go from 20 to zero is not gonna be that long. So it's gonna be kind of hard to measure, but it's gonna be easier to measure from 40, 50, 60. And those are the speeds at autocross. That's what I really care about to be honest, because that's the speeds that I'm, I'm really doing at autocross before each turn and you know, I'm not stopping all the way but you know it's a good way to um, see how much it fades and so I'm gonna go ahead and go to a street uh, where there's not that many people there's a lot of people walking so I don't want to do it on a local street I'm um, gonna go up to the speeds and just break um, all the way down and I'll put a little timer on the screen and I'll show that much and then after I do the install I'll do um, the same test and I'll have a split screen also so um, between the, the old one on the left and the new one on the right so it'll show exactly um, I'm hoping that um, I can get kind of an equal test on this and I'll of course bed in the rotors and pads before I do the test um, but once I install it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to film on the GoPro and we'll head over there. My own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Tape my eyes open to force 
Alright guys, so as you can see the stock rotors right now, I don't think these have ever been replaced to be honest. These are prob these are super super beaten up. They have a really big lip, that's how you can tell, and you can tell that it's really eaten away over here on the rotor compared to especially the new one. Super super rusted on the end of the rotor, the hub, the rotor hat right here, super super rusty. I'm gonna go ahead and take off um just swing up. Actually, I'll take off the two bolts holding on the caliper, the actual on the actual bracket for the caliper because on a normal brake job like I'll do on the rear, I would normally just swing it up. But because I'm replacing the rotor, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take off the entire caliper and then I'll probably zip tie it to the spring just so it doesn't dangle and put pressure on the line. So let's get it. Alright guys, I don't feel like struggling today, so make life easy for myself. All right guys, super happy that the rotor just slid off. It's not rusted or anything. I've done this on the um, BRZs and 86s and stuff. They're always seized on. So really glad that this one isn't. This rotor is super eaten away. You can see the back of it. I don't know if you guys can see up close. If you guys can see, it has a huge lip on the back. It's really, really eaten away. And the sides are so rusted, it's crumbling off. I'll go ahead and uh, Get the new one here. Look at this beauty. Look, look at that beauty. Uh, you can kind of see where the old one was. Line this up. Guys, that is so, so nice. A um, little trick that I do is kind of put on the lug nut to hold it on. Kind of put, hold it on like that. Wow guys, huge, huge difference. That's what I do on the rear, but I can just slide out um, these old brake pads and put on the new ones. So go ahead, quickly do that. You can see I got the old pads out. Um, this is, they're pretty equal on both sides. Now if yours are not equal, it's because the adjustment screw on the caliper that just how much bite on each side you have is messed up. Mine is, uh, doesn't look like it's been messed with or it was done correctly. So. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. And so the back, the caliper bolts were 14 and I had to remove the brake line to remove it. So this is uh, the old pads. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new ones in. All right guys, so this is the corresponding one. The little push tab on the same side. All right, my camera uh, ran out of memory, but look at the meat difference on there. That is crazy. All right, I'm gonna put it in. And then it's the same, basically the same thing for the rear. Um, it's a little bit more in depth. I'll update you guys for the rear. So I got the new pads in. That's a, that's a nice setup right there. Uh, and I'm going to squeeze this caliper back because the pads are so old, so worn down. I have to push this piston back. So you get a vice grip, grip it on both sides and just slowly push it back. It'll push the fluid out and then you can get actually get the uh, caliper over. It's, as you, can, as you can see now, the piston is pushed back, and then I can go ahead and move the vice grip and then put it down. All right, guys, so for the rear one, so the lighting is really bad, but um, just swing it up. So there's a 12 millimeter right back here. Um, take it out, and it looks like this. It has a couple washers on it. Then you take off the little spring and bolt that goes through the part where the e-brake cable is right there. I took it off because you need to swing it up and this piece is all one mechanism. And then you need to move the other 12 right here for the line. Same thing for the other front end. Same thing all around for the front lines too. You do need to take that brake line off with the 12 millimeter. So you can see it's pulling on the cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the 12 off and we replace the pad, super easy. Okay, so fix the camera. Um, the reason why I picked up this new tool, this cube tool, is for the rear brake pads. Unless you guys have brand new caliper or something, you guys need this. 
basically what this is is I'm not sure if you guys can see but inside the piston over there there's little slots and usually you can just usually you can just push it with a there's little slots over there you guys can't really see it but basically it gets seized so you get um, you get this and basically it turn it fits into right so these two notches go into the slots and you use a 3 8 and just turns it and now that's how you push it back because the new pads are thicker so let's go ahead and try using this out and I will be done I mean flush the fluid um, I'm not gonna record that process because it's super lengthy but you guys can see many videos on there of course the same for every car and then we'll go for a test drive Alright guys, so I just got the EBC pads on and the parking brake works out, ready? Oh, it's amazing. Anyways, um, it was a pain in the ass. Honestly, I don't really know how to adjust it, but I got it right and I don't know how I did it. So, we can watch a lot of other videos, a lot of stuff on them. Really sorry guys if you guys have any questions, but uh, I got the EBC yellow stuff pads and the rotors. I did one brake test for, to complete stop. It slid like crazy because they're not bedded in. So we're going to go to the same street that I was on earlier and you guys won't be able to see much, but I'm gonna do a 20, 40, 40, 60, and then I'll um, test it out a bunch, make sure everything's good. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Guys, the e-brake worked. I just pulled it up. I never stood outside my car with the car running. Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna truck down my wheels, make sure everything's good still, and uh, yeah. 20, 20, 20. Why did like, why did the rear come out like that? <laughs> That's hella dangerous, bro. Comes out my motorcycle. Okay, another 20 roll. I don't have ABS. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, do brake tests right now because there's no ABS. <laughs> what? Alright guys, so the reason why my ABS isn't working is I realized that a uh, long time ago, I think uh, my dad was kind of fiddling around with the car and he might have unplugged it. I'm not really sure. Not on purpose, obviously, but I'm pretty sure it was disconnected because the last time I went to AutoCrest, the ABS light was definitely coming on, which means that it was working. Now, the ABS light doesn't even turn on. So, I definitely something a fuse is probably blowing. So, I'll replace that uh, with the correct amperage and I'll, I'll redo this video. Um, but as of right now, the rear end lift slides, comes around, it's so scary. <laughs> but I, I think the brakes are better, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, these pads are so good because earlier today, ABS wasn't working, but I didn't know because the pads were kind of, I mean, they weren't nearly as good. Didn't even lock up the tires. Now the tires just locking up, sliding. This, these pads are so good. And the rotors feel great too. So I'm, I'm really happy and they don't squeak. They don't have that track squeak. So I don't really like that because it just makes my car feel like super crappy. But um, yeah, this is a good median. I, I really, this is good for street and uh, autocross. I, I'm uh, yet to test it, but I'll let you guys know. But this is my first impression, so I'm really, really happy.